what is up guys and this video is just gonna be really short I'm gonna upload this right after I record it I watched your comment I read your comments I got three different comments on that uh, between that video and another video from two different users and thank you I've been trying to get people to comment on my videos for a while now it seems like it's pull you think it'd be like pulling teeth how difficult it is but getting people to comment is more of a pain in the butt than you'd expect so I thank you to uh, Skills for Life and Grumpy Ann who uh, both commented on my videos giving me suggestions on what games to play. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start off by responding. I've never extensively played Fallout 4. Um, not for a lack of interest. It's just playing Fallout... Playing the original Fallout was mainly because I didn't have a whole lot of options. And when I played it, I enjoyed it. I play enjoyed playing Fallout 3 and Vegas. They were both great games. I played them all the way through. I enjoyed the story modes and honestly wish there was more to them. <sighs> Problem is, is I haven't played them since I was like 16, back when having a list of games was optional. Like, there wasn't a whole lot to choose from. Well, not only do you guys want to see Fallout 4, but you want to see modded Fallout 4. And although I completely agree, mods make games way better, I've never played Fallout 4, and honestly, I want to play it with the most vanilla settings I possibly can first, and then we'll mod the shit out of it for a fun playthrough after. So, unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to be playing modded Fallout yet. I'm going to wait, and I'm going to play the original Fallout story. So, like I said, I've never played it all the way through, and playing it on here will encourage me to do so. Once we've completed the main storyline, I don't care about a lot of the side quests or anything like that. Once we've completed the main storyline, just so I understand the story, how it works, the main functions of the game, like what you can do and stuff like that, the aspects of Fallout 4 for the most part, I will move on and we will start doing modded uh, Fallout 4. The only reason I haven't done it up front, and I pulled up this link right here, is because... It's very similar to like Minecraft on how many freaking mods you can have installed. And honestly, I'm getting overwhelmed just looking at these. Like 400 mods, 255 mods, freaking, uh, let's see. Like some of these people have some ridiculous amounts of mods installed. And although I think that would be a blast, 400 mods, crazy numbers of mods, just like in Minecraft. 300 plus, uh... Interesting. Uh, but yeah, there are a massive shitload of mods that we can play with. And I'm going to do that, but I want to play the vanilla Fallout 4 first so I can get the actual story and enjoy it. If you guys don't like the idea of that, I'm sorry. I'm doing it for me, not for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys can enjoy seeing a playthrough of Fallout 4 and how terrible I probably am going to be at it. I haven't played a whole lot of first-person shooters in this game, so it's going to be an interesting experience. Uh, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I'll probably be downloading that here shortly to start playing. Um, oh, and uh, today, oh well, uh, starting today, I'm also going to start adding in uh, some Minion Masters gameplay footage. So I'm going to go ahead and get that downloaded. Minion Masters right here. As I do like Minion Masters, for any of you who haven't seen Minion Masters on the channel, uh, I've played this quite a bit. I'll probably just be adding the footage to this, uh, to the, uh, to the, um, playlist I've already got for Minion Masters, so you're going to see some old footage and new footage. Uh, thankfully, I play this on Shadow, which is a streaming service. By the way, if any of you are curious about Shadow, uh, leave me a comment, and I'll do a video explaining what Shadow is and how I use it. The Shadow basically allows anybody who doesn't have a gaming PC to play PC games, like, and these are, and I'm talking AAA titles. And now, like the really high end games, you may have to turn down the settings a little bit because it's only got the equivalent of like a 1080 Ti in it, uh, which is a type of graphics card. Uh, but outside of that, you can play any AAA titles using this. I pay thirty dollars a month for this service. It's basically like Netflix, and you have to have really good internet. I'm talking probably at least 200 megabytes per second minimum. And even with that, you might have a laggy connection. I have 400 megabytes per second, and I still have problem with lag every once in a while and I had to do a direct connection in order to maximize that but I got a pretty good steady frame rate with it and uh, you guys seem to enjoy the quality of the video so I'm not going to say too much about that looks like we've got Minion Masters installed so it's ready to start playing um, 
I also need to download Fallout 4. You guys definitely want to see that. I need to see how much storage space. Oh, I'm running low. I'm gonna to have to install some games on here. As that's the big fault. That's the big drawback to Shadow. Is it's got a very small starting hard drive. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Yeah, I agree. Blah 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 blah. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, but I'm gonna go ahead and let that start installing. Uh, it'll probably take a good 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I'll find something to do while I'm waiting for that. It downloads pretty fast. Uh, 40, 50 megabytes per second. So we'll just let that run in the background. But like I said, guys, I'm going to stick with, uh, you know, vanilla Fallout 4 to begin with. Um, I'm also going to be adding a few Minion Masters episodes. Probably not going to be like an every week sort of thing. But if I'm looking for some video content, that's just really easy to pop out. And so that way, if I'm trying to get a couple extra videos in here and there, I can throw in a Minion Masters video. It won't replace a video, but it may push back a video by a day or two, uh, depending on... Uh, how much footage I need to get, but Minion Master is a really fun online multiplayer game. Um, I mean, no, I'm not gonna do it on this video because this is just gonna be a vlog. I want to keep it short. Uh, but yeah, these two games are games you guys have both recommended to me. I do want to get Monster Hunter Rise. The only problem is if I open up Steam here and go to the store, I, I do not currently have the funds for it. And on here, it is sixty bucks. Because it's still fairly new on Steam. I've played it very minorly on Switch. Uh, barely enough to cover like the first chapter of the game. Uh, and I'm going to get this on here. What's the deluxe kit? Uh, whatever that is. Um, let me just take a look here real quick. Because uh, sometimes I go to external websites to see if I can get it for cheaper. And this is one of the websites I use. G2A.com I'm not, so, I'm not, uh, like, sponsored or anything. Uh, stop it. Okay. Looks like I can get it for, like, 31 bucks. Still haven't got the money for that right now, but that's still a lot cheaper. And only 36 for the deluxe key, which is probably what I would get just to get the bonus features. Um, but yeah. So, on here, I could get it for pretty cheap. And here in a few weeks, once I get my bills caught up here at the house... If I were able to do YouTube full-time, that would be able to pay for it, no problem. But I'm not anywhere near that phase yet. But, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing Monster and Arise. My main weapon is the hammer. I've always been really good at the hammer. And with the new implementation implementation of the, uh, what are they called? The, I don't have anything about it in here. Use your weapon your skills, gather one food chain. Uh, Hunt Solar Team of Stunning Visuals. Enjoy the new exciting storyline with the village. Bring new hunting action. Oh, yeah. Wirebugs. Right here. Wirebugs. See that? How he's jumping around, flying around and stuff? Uh, the commenter that uh, mentioned it already knew about the wirebugs. But, yeah, they're a good way to get around. And with you being a hammer user, it really it just increases, like, the amount of knockout power you can really condone. Because hammer users were generally pretty limited to the ground when it came to combat. Uh, unless you were able to utilize your environment for like rolling and jumping or uh, the edge edge uh, edge guarding or edge jumping, uh, which is a technique I've used multiple times. And mounting is a lot easier now with the wire bugs and stuff like that. So it makes it a, for a fun gameplay. Like I said, I haven't played it extensively. I've only seen a couple of the new monsters because uh, I played Monster Hunter World extensively. I ple completed the story entirely, even bought, fought a bunch of the bonus special creatures or whatever. But I have not played this one uh, like in its entirety, and I want to. Uh, but doing it on the channel will be a fun experience. So I'm probably going to end up getting Monster Hunter Rise uh, here in the next few weeks. I don't know when you'll expect to see videos on it. If you guys decide you want to see some Monster Hunter World on the channel, because I've never played that extensively on the channel. Um, granted, I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of watching the story on it anymore, because I've did a rerun through it probably nine times. Uh and completed the game entirely three times. So, if you guys want to see it, I'd gladly do it. Just because I enjoy fighting the monsters. I, I may zone out during the story mode. But I will show it to you guys. Um, but that's what for you guys to decide. Because um, I'm only going to play it if you guys want me to. There's no need for me to go back and replay Monster Hunter World if you guys don't want to watch it. Uh, but yeah, that's just a suggestion. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I've got... Fallout 4 installing now, and Minion Masters is already installed and ready to play, and I may even do a video of it here in just a minute. So, 
If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, like, subscribe, check, click on the bell down below to let you know when I upload videos to YouTube. And that's going to have to do it for me, guys. So I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye, guys.